pumping. I was injecting well uh, water off a temporary well right into the uh, right above the check valve. So all I did was go in there and turn off the actual pump that probably created enough vacuum to lift the check valve up and then it started pulling from the bottom of the pit. There's a lot of sand in there. I'm not really trying to pump sand right now. I just wanted to make sure I had a, a good way to get a uh, fast prime on this thing so I didn't sp waste a lot of time. It's probably actually pulling water up through the pump even though the well wa pump inside there is turned off now. It had about six foot of water in it. I can figure out how many gallons it is so we'll use the time on the camera to figure out uh, how long it took to pump the thing out. If I can come up with a way to put as much water in as I pump out I should be able to just shovel sand in there have it come out here I can add some pipe to here and making a straight shot to the backyard and then use this flexible hose here just to kind of spread it around maybe put up some sand fence so it collects in places but if I was careful I could probably add two foot of dirt around the edge of the yard or around the lake which makes it a lot easier to mow the grass when you don't have to worry about the mower blades sinking into the ground. But that obviously is enough pressure to lift that two pound check valve and that's a lot of water flowing through there especially since I've got all the pumps turned off. That's only running off the eight horsepower trash pump right now. I don't know how many gallons a minute but take a look at the mess over at the dog pen. I made this driveway to collect water to keep my yard from washing out so it would be channeled into the dog pen and then my plan eventually is to get it terraced with about six inches of gravel at the top of the dog pen and I've got a retaining basin at the bottom so it's kind of self-cleaning and the grass at the bottom of the pen grows real well. I'm going to take the camera inside and see if I can see it pumping out of the pit because it should be starting to get pretty low by now. I can't believe I haven't dropped the camera. Anyways, that bucket is actually 
above the concrete about six inches so when I cut that flush you can see that it's just going to suck the sand flush uh, you need some movement to move the sand that's why the far end back there is so raised up but I actually just got rid of about 10 inches of sand throughout this whole thing and it's now in my backyard and that wasn't that hard to do I'd have to say it works really well. I just walked out here and it only had about eight inches of water in the hole and it was pumping full blast. So we'll sit and wait and see what happens. It does have an inch and a quarter line going down into a well, so it's, it's got a pretty solid supply of just pure water. I made a point of putting that in right around that uh, check valve because there's a void there and I thought all the turbulence and everything it would stir the sand up better I'm gonna put this back on the stand and just let it sit and it usually takes about 30 minutes to fill that hole up with six foot of water so if this runs for two minutes and then suddenly starts running that valves working a lot better than I thought it would so bright out here I can hardly see it but okay we'll just let it sit and see if it primes itself Pretty safe to say the thing works. Next step is to get a nice smooth bottom, cut that bucket flush, and then start seeing if I can actually move sand with it. I hope the mic's on this time. See ya.